Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Baiju's exam prep. My name is Alpa Sharma and this is our daily editorial analysis. I hope I'm clearly visible and audible to everybody. How are you guys today? Good morning, Priya, Sakshi, Mahita, Ragini. Good morning. Am I clearly visible and audible? Hi, Charni, Ana, Divjot. Yes, clearly visible and audible. I want a surprise for all of you today. So, yes, good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'll tell you what the surprise is in some time. So, today is 1st of February. Okay. How much time left for our examinations? Three months. So, I'll be coming up with a class on YouTube where I'll be talking about the coming three months strategy. How you need to plan the coming three months. It's going to be very likely held tomorrow. I'll let you know about the timing of the class. It's going to be on YouTube. Apart from that, I've taken two articles today. One article is not from the Hindu today. It's from the Guardian. So, I think I need to change the name of my class. Instead of the Hindu editorial analysis, it's only the editorial analysis. One is from the Guardian and the other article is from the Hindu. So, this, these are the two things we need to discuss today. Okay. 11 months for people who are targeting 23 and 3 months for people who are targeting 22. Yes, absolutely right. Okay. Oh, yes, Priya, you're right. You're right. I actually missed her. A session on new pattern of ALA 2? Yes. Okay. I wish, I'll, I'll do that. Yes. So, Hindu and the Guardian. That's what we're going to do today. Okay. So, before we start off, finally, they have my picture on boards. If you're targeting 2023, I am going to be teaching in a batch, the newest batch for 2023. And the classes, the enrollments have already begun. The classes are going to start soon. Rush up, you've got only 11 months left for your examination. Do not be late. If you're targeting 2023, examination that's going to be in December, this is the batch for you. Look no further. Apart from that, if you're targeting MNCT, LF, SLAB, BLA, Jamia, these low entrance examinations apart from FLAT, because the pattern is a little different, we've got a new batch for you, batch 2. So, batch 1 already full of chuka hai, batch 2 jaldi se full ho hai, late mat karo, enroll kar lo is batch ke liye, agar ye exams aapka target hai, toh. If you're targeting CLAP 22, then we've got our crash course, first crash course that we've already launched. This is enrollment start. Jaldi se start karlo classes. Jitna jaldi start karo, jitna benefit hoga aapko. And if you wish to study only and only legal affairs and current events, then we've got batch 2 of this booster course where Avimanyu sir and Nivedita ma'am will be teaching you only legal affairs and current events. So if these are the two topics you need to study, then this is the batch for you. Look no further. Now that's about, yes, finally my picture. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right. Okay. Good morning, Shatakshi. Okay. So what are we going to do in the class today? We'll take a note of the day. We will revise three questions from yesterday's class. Vocabulary words, revision through one word substitution. We'll take up two articles, do a detailed discussion on them, take out vocabulary, phrasal verbs, idiom through these articles, memorize them, and in the end, you're going to tell me the tone of the author. Plus, you can write down the summary under my video in the comment section. Yesterday, I've seen all your comments. I've seen all the summary. I've seen all your suggestions about the new topics that you would want me to cover this week. And next week, we're going to take up a lot of new classes. So that's what about uh, our session is about. In the end, we'll look at Today's Hindu and Indian Express and we'll see what is important that we need to study and what is something that we can miss out. Also, I'll tell you why did I not take an article from uh, the Indian Express or the Hindu a lot today. Why did I take a Guardian article? Because Kalki newspaper mein mostly suggestions that budget aisa hona chahiye, finance minister ko aisa karna chahiye. And according to me, wo na ek reading comprehension banne ke liye bahut unlikely articles hote hain. So, I've taken one article today which very likely can be framed into a reading comprehension. And we'll read that from the reading comprehension's perspective. Beautiful article, you'll love reading that. And you use a, your mind a lot as well. You'll probably think, oh, I never thought of it that way. So, it's a very interesting one that I've taken from the Guardian today. 
Let's see who's got the quote of the day. Who's bought the coat today? What's our coat? Nobody? Good morning, everyone. Bhavya, Sahil, and Anushka Muskan. Coat, 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 quickly. Nobody? Work hard in silence and let success make the noise. As I said, Mama, I have five hours study. Karte. Ma'am, I don't care how many hours you give. I don't care how many hours you give. I don't care how many hours you give. I care about your output. Right? So let you work in silence and let your success make the noise. Right? So, yes. Makes sense a lot. Okay. So, it's never too late. Yes, absolutely. It's never, never too late. Correct. Alright. So, that was it for the quote of the day. Chalo, revision start karte hai. Okay? First word, an essential or urgent thing, imperative, atrocity, condemn or holocaust. Super easy, what's our answer? What's our answer here? In the app, imperative, atrocity, condemn or holocaust, what is it? Yes, yes, Arshita, you're right. Exactly. It has to be imperative, crucial. Yes, imperative or crucial. Correct. The answer is A. Ma'am, today in the Hindi newspaper, there is news in the text and context. Is that the limits of the legislature powers to suspend a member? Do you want me to take that article tomorrow, Ragini? Should I be taking that? Yes, the answer is imperative here. Okay. So, next question. Shock or excite? into taking action, galvanize, anti-Semitic, receipt or pervasive. What is it? Okay, Ragini, I'll be taking that today. Uh, Ragini says, there's an article in text and context today in the Hindu and she wants me to take that article. I'll be taking that article tomorrow. I will be sharing, since most of you don't have access to text and context, I'll be sharing that article with you in our Telegram group, Law Doubt Discussion. So, make sure you read that and then come to the class so that we can discuss the details of that, okay? So, the answer is galvanized. Yes, the answer is A. It's galvanized. Correct. A is our answer. The last one. A pithy observation which contains a general truth. Disavow, aphorism, emanate or dwindle. What is it? Not able to score? Shreya? Okay. Let me figure out a session for that as well. Okay. So, what's the answer? It's a disavow? No. It's a forism. It's a forism. No, Priya. Not in the offline paper. It's a forism. The answer is a forism. It's B. Okay. So, B is the answer. All right. Let's move to the words from today's class. Again, for people who've joined me recently, right now, the two articles that I'm going to take, one is going to be from The Guardian. Very likely you haven't read that. We'll read it together. We'll learn a lot of new things, new words. Here comes the vocabulary from today's class. The first one, tingle. So, a tingle is a kind of a sensation, okay? Tingling sensation. For example, uh, something, a slight needle, uh, like feel on your skin. That's a tingling sensation, okay? She was tingling with excitement, something from inside. Slight prickling. Not necessarily uh, deep needling, but slight pickle, a trickle or prickle kind of sensation is tingling, okay? So it could be inside, it could be on your skin, it could be anywhere. That's tingling. All right. Okay. So that's the first one. Next word. We've got prescience. They go S. C I E N T, yeah, S C I E N means to know. Okay, so conscience, science, TK, subconscious, yes, sir. It's the words in English which means to know. Pre science, it's break karte. Science here means to know. Pre means pehle se. That means you knew it beforehand. Fact of knowing something in advance 
or foreknowledge is precise. Okay? So, cognizant, yes, you can say that. Poking, yes. Uh, Tishitate, yes. Then nudge, nudge could be for tingle, related one. Okay. All right. Shreya, I'll figure out something for you. I'll help you out. Okay. So, that's pre-science. With extraordinary pre-science, Chuang actually predicted the Nazi eruption. So, extraordinary uh, ability to foresee things. To foresee, to know it beforehand is pre-science. The next word, blind sight. Pre-science, you see it beforehand. Blind sight, you can't see anything. So, blind sight is an obstruction where your visibility is extremely poor. That a punch delivered on the referee's blind side, that is a, a side which you could not see. That is where the punch was delivered. Okay. So your visibility is extremely low. That is blind side. Okay. Far sighted ho sakta hai? Yes. Shafi ho sakta hai. Related word. I've given one mock recently and found that I can't take. Cheek hai Shreya. Bachi relax. Dekho. Shreya you need to relax right now. After the first mock it's normal to feel that you don't know anything. It's normal to feel that I can't handle questions. I'll help you with your strategy, mock taking strategy, okay? All right. Okay, the next word. Dystopia. One word is utopia. Utopia, excellent, perfect word. Full of best things, utopia. Dystopia becomes the opposite of it. A world full of suffering, injustice, the worst of a kind that you could imagine is dystopia. Many novelists have explored the concept of dystopia, a world full of injustice and then hatred and suffering for people. That's dystopia. Utopia becomes the opposite of dystopia. Slide number one, take a screenshot and ask me questions if you have any. Days for blind sight. Okay, yes, correct. Okay, Ali, I'll look into that. Note it. All right. Nay Shafi Galat. Galat idiom. All right. 1984. Yes, Palak, my child, you got that. That's a perfect example of this topic. Yeah. Correct. Take care. All right. Next slide. Slide number two. Nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Uh, KFC. Kya hota hai nuggets? Chutti chutti pieces. News nuggets. Chutti chutti news. Uh, basically small fragments. Are nuggets okay? So small chunks, small fragments, news nuggets of them. That means small briefing of news. Nuggets of meat were lying on the floor. I'm sorry, people. I did not copy this. I'm sorry. This grossed you out. The next one, misogyny, miss or miso. Okay, so miss is bad or wrong, opposite. G Y N is for women. So when you have views against women, you are misogynist. Okay. That is what the word means. Fritters, bol sakte ho. Theek hai. Dystopia, Shruti. Dystopia hota hai. Word. Aisa word. Jaha sab kuch galat ho raha hai. Sab suffer kar raha hai. Ye dystopia ho gaya. Utopia ho gaya. Ek aisa word. Jaha sab kuch bohat achcha ho raha hai. Best ho raha hai. Is tarah chak kuch nahi ho sakta hai. Utopian world hum imagine karte hai. India ek utopian country banega kabhi. Abhi dystopian hai ke nahi pata nahi. Theek hai. Ayat maj mein jyote ka dystopia. And Shruti dystopia. Chunk for nuggets, yes. Hatred for women is misogyny, yes. Correct. All right. The next one. Prophecy. Okay, so prophecy is prediction of what will happen in the future. You can understand, ask my article in future events. Ke mein de hai na? So prophecy is prediction. A prophecy that the world will end. Bahasari prophecy is the uh, there will be uh, a pandemic that will kill so many people and the whole world will be suffering. Prophecy, prediction of what might happen in the future. A bleak prophecy of war and ruin was declared by the priest. He said everything is going to end. There is going to be war and everything is going to be ruined. Prophecy, prediction. Okay, of what is going to happen in the future. All right, the next one. Prediction, foretell, foresight, forecast. Yes, Arshia, absolutely right. All of these are synonyms to prophecy. Correct. I know, Ali, this happens a lot. 
I know a lot of you are struggling with mocks. I know you guys are struggling with how to improve your scores in mock, how to analyze the mocks. I'm planning the session, guys. Please stick with me for two weeks. I've got a lot of things planned for you, okay? A lot of suggestions taken down from you. A lot of things will be happening. Okay, so let's move with the next one. Tethering. So tethering has multiple meanings, but the meaning that we're going to use in today's article would be a robot chain that would is tied to uh, usually an animal to uh, avoid its movement, to restrict its movement. So the horse had been tethered to a post, he had been tied so that he could not move away. That's tethered. Do you remember that story about elephants whose legs were tied with a rope? Remember that? I'll be telling you the story in the end of the class. It's a beautiful motivational story. Okay. All right. So prejudiced for misogynist? Yes, could be. Bondage for tethered? Yes, correct. Tethered is bound. Correct. Okay. Let's move ahead with the next one. Leash? Yes, leash is tethered. Decadence? You indulge so much into your own luxury, in, into your own pleasures and thus your morality is disturbed. That is decadence. So he denounced western decadence, that is western way of indulging into luxury, thus keeping your morality at stake is decadence. Slide number two, take a screenshot everyone. Okay. Prejudice is biased. Yes, it is. Correct, it is. All right. So, I'm moving on to the next slide, everyone. Could you please uh, share my video right away? Ma'am, I scored decent marks in sectionals. Okay. I know you guys are struggling. I know, I know that. Yes, that one, Divjot. Yes, that one. Okay, next slide. Slide number three. Plateau. They go eight to plateau hota hai, this, okay? This flat area. Jopne geography mein hai. But conceptually, contextually, you can use karte hai plateau. So a plateau is okay, a period when then it's stagnant and there's no change. So when I make a graph, let me show it to you. Okay, when I make a graph, there's a sudden increment. And then it plateaus like this. So it becomes stagnant for some time. This is plateauing in the graph. Okay. The peace process had reached a plateau. That means it, the peace process did not increase. It did not go up. It became stagnant. There was no improvement in it. That's plateau. As a contextual meaning of it. Okay. Decadence. Riya hota hai. Jab aap. Sip apni luxury, apni pleasure pe dhyan dete ho. Chahe wo immoral cheezo mein hi kyun na ho. Aapki morality pe aap state pe laga dete ho. Ye hota hai decadence, okay? Okay. All right. Cheek hai. Dwindling bol sakte plateau ke liye? Cheek hai. The next word. Limbo. Limbo is a ethic state pe jaha koi dhyan ni dera. Nobody is paying attention to you. It's in a oblivion state. You are ignored. Or maybe uh, not paid attention to. That is in limbo. These prisoners were in limbo. No one is responsible for their welfare. Nobody took care of their welfare. They were neglected. They were uh, discarded and not paid attention to. That's in limbo. Okay. Oh, aaj kitna disturbance aap logo ke mind mein mock scores ko leke. Relax guys, I'll work on that. I'll help you. I'll help you, okay? Okay, neglect, unheeded, very good, Hemindra, very good. Negle negligence, yes. Correct. All right, next word. Think that is technically a decree, an order, okay? Usually, when you have no consent, but it's a forceful order, a forceful decree, that's a dictat. A dictat over COVID-19 restriction was heavily criticized. Okay. Lockdown, you can't go out, it's a dictat. You have to follow that. It was criticized because it, it did not have the public consent, popular consent. People did not agree to it commonly. So because it was a decree without popular consent, with a lot of forcing, that was, uh, that is what dictat means. Okay? Limbo can be void. Yes, it can be. Disregard can be limbo. Correct. All right, the next one. Consistent plateau ko bol sakte ho Yes, you can say that. 
Okay, avoid, yes. The last one, assuage. Assuage is to soothe something or to make something less severe, to reduce the severity of something is assuaging. The letter assuage the fears of most members, it calmed them down, it soothed them, it um, pacified them, it made the effect less intense and that's assuage. Okay, decree for dictat, yes. Directive for dictat, yes, Arshia, you're right. Correct. Assuage is to mitigate. Absolutely right. It's to mitigate. Absolute synonym to it. Okay? That's mitigation. Pacify. Bilkul. Gansham. Bilkul. Bol sakte ho. Pacify. Calm down. Mitigate. Ameliorate. Very good, Ali. Ameliorate is a synonym to it. Okay? So, slide number three. Last slide. Everyone take a screenshot very, very quickly. And then we'll move to the first article from the Guardian. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So this article is about novelists. Okay. I'm sure 99% of you haven't read this article. And this is from The Guardian. And this article is about novelists who seem to have predicted what might happen in the future. But can they, can they foresee things? How can they predict things? How this pandemic was already predicted? How the Nazi war was already predicted? How? This article is about that. So let's read gradually together and let's see what happens gradually, okay? So the Guardian's view on pre-science in novels. Novels already know what's going to happen in the future. They could read the future. How? Let's understand. Okay? So here we go. Okay. So the scientists hailed a breakthrough this month. A man with end-stage heart disease was given genetically modified pig's heart. Yes, we read that article. Right? His heart was transplanted with a pig's heart. Some non-scientists found the idea familiar. They said, oh, we've read about this. We've heard about a person with a pig's heart long, long before this actually happened. Where did we read that? The procedure had already been described by Mallory Blackman in her novel, Pig Heart Boy. So, could they actually foresee what's going to happen? This idea looked familiar. Reality, it seems, can make fictions come true. What was imagined, they are actually coming true. And black men joins a distinguished line. And not only the black, not only black men whose novel Pig Heart Boy could predict things, he joins a distinguished line. Many novelists have predicted things. Like Jonathan Swift, what did he, uh, he predict? Who posed, posited, among other things, two moons for Mars. He could predict many things. One was that Mars has two moons. So that's one prediction that he made. Aldous Huxley predicted oral contraception, mood medicines, test tube babies. And now that's happening as a reality. H.G. E. Wells predicted atomic bombs. And our favorite George Orwell predicted telescreens and mass surveillance, which is happening right now. Of the writers whose works acquire over the years the tingle of pre-science. There is a tingle of pre-science in each of these novelists that we've mentioned here. Got the idea, everybody? Yes? Like Simpsons cartoon. Yes. Exactly. Xenotransplant, Arshita. Yes, you remember the word. Xenotransplant. Okay? So, up. Prediction to ho gaya. But how? More recently, a number of novelists were blindsided by an actual pandemic overtaking their invented plagues. Christiana Sweeney. The End of Men was finished in December. Abhidhyan se parna, okay? This was finished in end of December 2019. One book, okay? Bethany Cliff's last one at the party was published in February 21. And Oana Arsai's Under the Blue a month later. What happened with these books? Lawrence writes, the end of October even imagines a coronavirus arising in East Asia. So there's an imagination of something of this pandemic arising through East Asia. What a coincidence. Is it only a coincidence or are they 
seers are kind of is there is that a prophecy that they are making and joanna kavanaugh's 19 novel z set in the near future controlled by a tech giant are we being tech controlled by a tech giant today all our things are we being controlled by any tech giant today yes who is the tech giant we are referring to she could predict that becomes a more re becomes more real every day every day we realize that we are being governed owned controlled more and more and more by the tech giant yes so possibly vampires and zombies shrestha you are right vampires and zombies aren't far away yes exactly yes we are being governed by a tech giant certainly so but perhaps now comes but so that means there's a contradiction a very important point of view let's understand that what the point of view here is but perhaps that is to look at the matter the wrong way round hum jab when we look at the novels and we see okay they predicting something possibly they already could foresee that the author says that's the wrong way to look at things that's not what's happening what is happening then margaret atwood had said in relation to her own dystopia the handmade tale that it aroused so he said that uh, she said that she had written a handmade tale a book which was about the dystopia and right now it's a dystopia that we're living in she says that it arose out of an acute sense of the then present she was responding to nuggets of misogynistic authority in cropping up in the news she wrote a book about dystopia okay but she says i did not predict it i took up some nuggets from the news about misogynistic authoritarianism authority people who are misogynist they are rising into power and she could see it's, it's a dystopian world so i'll write about that so it was something that she took cue from things around her and that's how she wrote the book of course it's more relevant today the world has become more of a dystopian one it is worse but she could not she did not predict it she just picked up nuggets around her and then she wrote a book about dystopia that's what i would has to say yes understood yes so what happens next black man noticed speculation about modified pig's heart in the press when he wrote a book about the boy with a pig's heart he had read something in the newspaper about a speculation of modified pig's heart working inside a human's body with that speculation he wrote something ki aisa future mein ho jayega epidemiologists had warned of the threat of a major global pandemic and then people took cues from this news through epidemiologists and they wrote books about the pandemic swift's work often mocked the scientists for his day thus it's not a prediction that they're doing it's something that's around them already in the press making some news they pick it up and they make it into a reality about the future and that's how atwood says people predict things in their novels while it is true that all future is by definition fiction yes of course these tales arise argued atwood when a writer asks what might happen if those trends continue if the trend of a warning of a pandemic happening continues what would happen if you arrive at things of that way you think okay there's going to be a pandemic i'll write a book on pandemic what if the speculation of a modified pig's heart working inside a human work if that speculation works i'm going to write a book on that i'm going to write a book on this topic in world because if this continues the extremism continues if the misogynism and extremism continues i'm going to write an article or write a book on that thus would we like that is that where we want to live and then thus comes into the existence the book aa raha hai sabko samajh mein can i move ahead are you able to understand things exactly shreya that's the whole idea they are presenting here are you able to understand this idea everyone can i move ahead any questions yes cool so then seeming prophecy is thus a case of emotional and social insight tethered to current reality we link our emotions to the existing reality and we see how would we feel would i like to live in a place of that sort what's going to happen if this happens 
How do I look at it emotionally? And that's how books are written. In 1909, E.M. Forster published The Machine Stops, a short story in which humanity, in its desire for comfort, had overreached itself. Apne comfort ke liye, the humanity had overreached itself. It had exploited the riches of nature too far. And then there was nothing left. Quietly and complacently, it was sinking into decadence. Decadence, self-pleasure. No morality, only self-pleasure and self uh, Luxury and progress had come to mean progress of the machine. Thus, my oh, interest and my luxury was supreme. Ultimately, machines were invented to do things for you. We have got machines and robots cleaning and sweeping our houses, doing our dishes. Machines doing that for us, right? You've seen that. And since he had written that, the machine stops long time back. We could see it happening today even more after the pandemic happens, which partly by shutting humanity into a cave underground, severs any relationship with the real world. When did it happen? Did we go, did the humanity shut itself into a cave underground? Did we cut all our relationship with the real world? Did that ever happen? Did it happen at all? Yes, that happened with the pandemic. Machines took over. Robots did our work. People bought robots to clean their houses, do their dishes, dishwashers. And man went inside a cave. The cave is isolation. Cutting relationship with the real world. You could not see your friends. You could not see your relatives. My mom lived five kilometers away from me. I could not see her for whole two months because of the lockdown. Because of the strict lockdown. That's Severing any relationship we have with the real world. Exactly. Yes. Correct. Thus, it is an unnerving, unnerving, accurate picture of the Western world in 2020 lockdown. Complete with isolation, Zoom-like calls and machine-controlled delivery of food and entertainment. Everything was machine-controlled. Laptops, mobiles, Zoom, everything was machine-controlled and we were isolated. So he could predict that with a different idea. Yes, the lockdowns, correct. What happens next? This is one of the great things fiction can do. Pay a particular kind of attention. It is a kind of eavesdropping. Eavesdropping, keeping an eye, okay? And a looking under the surface of things. Surface of things, kabhi pigs heart transplant ho sakta hai, kabhi hum isolate ho sakte hai, kabhi hum resources ko itna use ko lege ki kuch nahi bachega hum aare liye. And then, you think, what's going to happen under the surface? If that happens, what's going to happen? You think, 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 and then you write. Seen like this, it makes sense that a group of literary scholars in Germany was tasked with predicting civil unrest. Very important, I understand this. A group of literary scholars were appointed in Germany and they were tasked with predicting civil unrest by reading novels and plays. They were made to read novels, plays, and they were made to predict if a civil unrest can happen in the country or not. And especially by noting reactions of people to them. How did people react to those novels? If they reacted, could it actually incite any kind of civil unrest? That is what they were made to do in Germany. And was a novel censored? They had studied that. By whom? Who had censored it? Why was it censored? What was the purpose? Study that. Find it out. Was it garlanded or a bestseller? Was it popular? Which novel was censored? Which novel was famous? And how people reacted to the novels after reading that? Through their behavior, through reading people's behavior, you could predict a lot of things. For example, a civil unrest happening. They were not surprised when Azerbaijan, who had been supplying Georgian libraries with anti-Armenian books, went to a war with nagorno karabakh Yes, so they were not surprised because they had predicted that because he had been supplying anti-Armenian books and thus the arrest happened. That's how they had predicted people's behavior. Exactly, Mobis, it could be. Yes. Okay, so the program was halted after three years but the point had been made. That prediction can be done. Though novelists are not seers, seers who could foresee things, no, they are not. 
we would do well not to underestimate their grasp on what is to come. So technically the last line is the conclusion the author is drawing here. That the point is made. They can't foresee things but they can actually understand people's behavior and if something of this sort happens in the future, how would things unravel? That is the whole idea of the article. Understood this everybody? How many of you have understood this? Now it is said in the passage that prediction by novelists comes from news and current events happening around and collecting and bringing them to prediction. Absolutely yes. Correct. Exactly, Bobsy, they do, and that's how they had predicted it. Shyam, kuch bhi samaj mein nahi aaya? Okay. No? Not understood? Oh, okay. I'll give you a brief again in a few lines, okay? So the author says that, you know, achha, sabse pehle, ye kyo samaj mein nahi aaya? Ma apko reason da baat because it is something that you usually don't see in the Hindu and the Indian Express. It's something different. And you're not very okay with reading something of this sort. Yes. Two years they so much many is the pohats are novelists can name the unke novels the or apne un words pay attention pay kya because was it premise ka part the and they never made the idea of the article. I have much apne opinion pay ya na idea. Aapne sirf data pe confuse hoge ki ye novelist ye kaun hai, ye kya naam hai, what is he saying? That's why I did not understand it. Now I'll explain what the author's opinion here is. I have pointed out the last line, which is a conclusion. And to make the conclusion, the author is actually uh, writing a lot of data. He says, he gives you many examples, understanding that everyone. He gives you many examples through which he quotes that this novelist had predicted this, this novelist had predicted that. And novelists have a power to predict things. Are they palm readers? Do they read your kundli to predict? No, they don't. So how do they predict? They actually predict it by looking at things happening around you. Reading the newspaper, what's making news, looking at that. And through looking at things around you, they predict, okay, if something of this sort happens in the future, how would people look at that? How would people react to it? Kya agar is tarike ke novels aa rahi hai market mein, to kya ye civil unrest ko lead kar sakti hai? Agar human apne lalaj mein saare resources ko use karega, to kya result ho sakta hai? Kya koi pandemic aa sakta hai future mein? Not very difficult to predict. Agar pandemic aayega, to kya karna padega logo ko? Logo ka isolation ho jayega. Robots le lenge future. Right? So they just look at their surroundings and they think about it. They think about human emotions ki log kaise react karenge. Agar ye ho jayega to kya ho sakta hai or? Agar ye reality ban jayegi to kya ho jayega? Tech giant ka example tha. Kya? Meta. Yes. Governing everything. Taking up most of our lives. Having a record of where you go, what you are doing, who you are with, everything. So, a tech giant actually taking over everything. Matlab, current circumstance mein basis par prophecy karna exactly. Aya sabko samaj mein? Ma'am, whenever I come to solve the passage based questions in mocks, mocks ke bhi question answer nahi karungi? Yes, everybody understands it. Yes. To aap logo ne kya kiya? Data pe dhyan diya. Data is unimportant. Omit the data. Call the author ne kya likha? Omit it. Author point kya dena cha raya? What's the argument that he's trying to make? Look at that, my children. Don't be confused with the premise. That's useless. Exactly, Anushka. You're absolutely right. Okay? Now, appropriate title to this article. Our novelist seers. That could be the appropriate title to it. What's our tone here, everyone? What's our tone? Now think about it. I've explained the article. What's our tone here? Ab ye samaj mein hai? Aise articles aayenge to kya padna hai aapko? I'm so glad I bought this article today. 
What is the term now? Think carefully and tell me. Critical or analytical? Critical to nahi hai. Not at all. Not at all critical. It's analytical. It's analytical. Usne kisi ko criticize nahi kiya ya. Usne analyze kiya hai. Ki kya novel is seers hai. Kya wo predict kar dete hai. Ya phir wo predict nahi kar dete. To wo kaise pehle bata dete ki ye honne wala hai. They, it's, it's analytical. Okay. Yes. Or argumentative. Yes. Exactly. It can be uh, Laviraj. It can be argumentative as well. Okay. All right. So now let's come to the next article of the class. I hope you've understood articles. Aise kaise address karne hain. Okay, nahi. Optimistic nahi hai. Next article. Unlocking classrooms. The Hindu. Or Indian Express. No, Indian Express ka hai. Hindu ka nahi hai. This is from the Indian Express. Okay. Also guys, I had a question yesterday from somebody ki ma'am, hum to Hindu parte hai. Aap Indian Express ka ya Guardian ka article kyun lete ho? I'll answer that in one line. I take those articles jo aapko reading mein aid kare. Jo aapki GK bhi improve kare aur aapko reading comprehension mein help kare. Jin pe editorial articles ban sakte hai reading comprehension mein. I take those articles. Wo kisi bhi source se ho sakte hai. And that's why attending my classes is very important because Hindu to aap khud bhi par sakte ho. What about everything else which you miss out where you can read comprehension? That's why I take articles from different sources every day. So that's why coming regularly on time is important. Unlocking classrooms. The idea, though over 2 lakh COVID-19 cases are being reported every day in India, the third wave seems to be plateauing in large parts of the country. So, a sharp increase is coming in plateauing in many states. Mein. And so, reopening schools must now move to the top of the agenda of all the governments. You know, there's a lot of debate about it that school should be opened or not. But now, I think everybody is on the same page that now we need to reopen schools because we've had enough of the lockdown for children. Two years sitting at home. My child has never seen school. She doesn't know what a school, what a school is. Right? So, and she's four. So, ultimately, everybody now is focusing key. School open karna chahiye ab. The crisis in learning and education is actually worse than the crisis our country is in right now. The regression of children's foundational skills in reading, writing, arithmetic and the cost in terms of nutrition and equity has been underlined by various services. Ab nutrition kaha se aagya? School and nutrition? School jaate to reading karoge, writing karoge, arithmetic karoge. Nutrition kaha se aagya? Why does somebody need to go to the school for nutrition? Who's going to say that? I will, Krishna, I will. Okay. So, midday meals. Yes, it's about midday meals. Exactly. Government school meals. Correct. So, not only the private schools. The government schools need to open. And midday meals come up with have to bring them to school and to provide them with nutritious meals. So, thus, nutrition, important. According to a parliamentary standing committee report last year, around 2, 3, 20 million children had not stepped into a classroom for more than a year. 3, 20 million children not. I had, I was on a break and I went to a village uh, last week and the sight that I saw, it filled my heart with so much contentment. I had seen a classroom in open, under the sun, Proper distancing and people studying. In open, ground, sitting on the ground without a mat. Proper distancing. Six feet and people studying and the teacher teaching there. That doesn't happen with your classroom, I'm sure. Right? Open ground, under the sun. What a brilliant classroom idea. But people haven't stepped into classroom for more than a year. Several states had reopened classrooms for a few months last year. But thankfully Omicron, everything was closed. Children in the national capital lost more school days to pollution. Look at the line. Very important. 
At the third wave, uh, wave peaks in some cities, states like Maharashtra, Karnataka, Telangana, and Rajasthan have announced dates of reopening schools. Since 2020, when schools shut down to contain an imminent first wave of the coronavirus, then an unknown and unpredictably dangerous pathogen. So unknown thought and everything uh, was closing down. So we did not know what's going to happen. Happen, right? I say in Yoko, don't worry about that, Abhi, okay? Exactly. So it was very dangerous with 75% adults vaccinated that we have in our country. Better and then better treatment protocols and low rate of hospitalization with the current wave. Not a lot of people are getting hospitalized. This the it's controllable right now. Maximum people have been vaccinated. The government cannot afford to keep the schools closed for long now. And the lives of children in a limbo for much longer. Because children need to study or jitana time school closed right now, they're going to be suffering. But the decision to reopen must be guided by the data and science. Now I'll explain what is data and science here. They go. A blind decision may also affect the country by school goal. It needs data about a specific area that there are COVID cases are there, that there is proper system follow ho raha hai, kya waha vaccination hui hai that is 15 to 18, kya waha teachers and adults vaccinated hai, and waha kitne cases are there. Hai. So, ye ek country wide decision nahi ho sakta. It has to be with the involvement of teachers district administration, parents, agreement of everybody. So that needs to be done. Given that at any moment of time, the burden of disease varies from state to state and that every state individually needs, needs to decide when to open a school and when not to. The case for reopening school is a strong one, but it is not hard to see why state governments continue to exercise caution. Of course, because nobody wants to put people at risk in their state. Earlier fears that children will be carriers, yes, and in fact, the elderly at home have been assuaged by the high levels of vaccination among the adult population. They'll bring back virus at home. But now, almost everyone in the adult has been vaccinated. And since they've been vaccinated, the fear is reduced. It is mitigated now. So, and also 15 to 18 vaccinations we start over there. That needs to pick up pace. We need to vaccinate more people. So there's a recent trend that we have seen with 15 to 18 people being vaccinated. When the vaccination started, the same plateau has been witnessed. It increased tremendously in the first few weeks and then it has plateaued. The vaccination for 15 to 18. So the government needs to ensure that these kids are also vaccinated so that they can start going back to the school again. Surely the choice is not a simple binary one. Is school called though? Ya ban kar do. Countrywide, not a binary one. It's a process. There is going to be risk that you need to evaluate. But as the third wave wanes, as the adult population moves to total vaccination, state governments must go to work on a reopening plan that ensures safety of children as well as access to learning. So far, the policy debate in the shadow of COVID has been as it should, dominated by reviving the economy and ameliorating distress. Look, now the policies which were debated in the parliament, mein, it was about कैसे हमारी इकॉनमी को ठीक करना है कैसे लोगों में डिस्ट्रेस को कम करना है सिमिलर अर्जेंसी के साथ सिमिलर प्लानिंग के साथ वी नीड टू फिगर आउट अ प्लान फॉर रीओपनिंग द स्कूल्स बिकॉज़ द फ्यूचर इज अ टेरिबल थिंग टू वेस्ट टोन ऑफ द ऑथर एवरीवन व्हाट्स द टोन हियर व्हाट इज द टोन Not this easy article. Yes, the third wave has stabilized. What's our tone here? Easy. This is an easy tone as well. By the time you tell me the tone, suggestive. Suggest nee, alarming nahi hai bache. Bahut suggestion nahi hai, mostly. Concern thoda sa hai. Alarming bilkul nahi hai. It's mostly suggestive. He says, okay, do this. What are you waiting for? Okay. Yes, suggested. Correct. Now let me open today's Hindu and Indian Express. But before I do that, what am I going to do today on my uh, BBA platform class today? Let me tell you that. Just a minute. Let me open today's. Okay. 
on the BBM platform, I'm going to come up today at 12.30 with a class on your 30 days strategy of how you need to prepare in the next 30 days to ace your examination. So I'll be coming up with a 30 day strategy uh, about your English preparation. See me live at 12.30. And uh, let me share today's Hindu and Indian Express and see what is important, including the text and the context that we need to study. Here is the Indian Express and here we go. So, yes, you can call it suggestive and a little bit concerning as well. Okay, so let's look at the articles now. Yes, so finally, when Air India is taken over by the Tata group, there's turbulence ahead because the condition they had taken up Air India, it's not a very stable one. Read this article, very, very important. Another one, oh yeah, so Rafa's um, victory, okay, his Nirvana, okay, very important. I think I'm going to take this article. The mind and the state of Russia's president, Skim. The case of vaccinating children against COVID-19. Yes, something of this can easily be framed into a reading comprehension. Please read this, okay? Page number two of the editorial of Hindu. A hazy picture on employment in India. Yes, this is important. Now, you have to read a lot of You have to read a budget. You A supreme failure. I'll take this article tomorrow. I'll take this article tomorrow. By Prabhash Ranjan from Jindal Global Law School. Don't read this article, okay? A text and context is here. The limits of the legislature's power to suspend a member. Can a lawmaker be suspended beyond one session? I think I take this article, but some people say it's a very easy one. I'll go through it and decide. But you should be reading this, okay? Tipping right on the US Supreme Court balance only skim. The last page of text and context. Emmett Paul lines a revival of the farmer's identity. Skim. Know your English? From the archives, if you like it, you could read that. Know your English every day. Okay, that's all from Hindu. Let's look at the Indian Express. Do you have any questions in the background that I've been missing out on? Yes, yes, Kartike, you're right. Exactly. Okay. Yes, I'll do that, Shreshta. I'll send it. Okay. Let's look at the Indian Express. Okay, Nidal steals a march over his two. Dono me se ek article padhe na over his victory, okay? SC panel must factor in question raised by the Pegasus revelation. Yes, read that. I thought Pegasus is over. Economy survey points to scope for greater government aid to the economy. Yes, read this. Uttar Pradesh polls? No, don't read that. What the economic survey says about outlook for India? Yes. The ordinary citizen's idea of India? Yes. What could charge important? By the UNSC joint statement on nuclear weapons is important? Yes, yes, yes. My children, very important. How can India can adapt to global geoeconomic churn? Yes. That is all from today's. And then the explained page. From crime to compensation, Muzaffarpur's shelter home case, Chortena. Okay? Why Andhra SC want Twitter to either follow the law of the land or face action? I'm sure you will know what happened to you. If you don't know, you'll read it. Otherwise, you can leave that. Global May, why the Chinese New Year celebrated? What is eaten and how? 
I think you know this, but otherwise you can leave this. Budget explained, it's going to be live. live. Why Sweden is afraid of Russian aggression in the Baltic Sea? Yes. Why growth in financial year 23 is spent? Yes. That's all. Okay, guys. So that's all about the news. Oh, iska subscription lena hota hai? Yes. Okay. Bye, everyone. Go find the budget. I'll see you at 12.30. And have a very good day, everyone.